Makkah. So Sajala, imagine a bucket and this bucket um, is filled with water. All right, Sajala. So this is actually the meaning of Sajal. Sajal, it actually means a bucket of water. And in them days, the buckets would usually be made from like leather. All right, so when you poured water into it, you filled it up with water, what happened was basically the um, the bucket now, the leather bucket, which was kind of, uh, um, uh, it had no real shape to it. Now it starts to have a shape now, right? So it's, it's able to stand on its own. So this bucket filled with water is called a sajil. Right, so here's some images I found. All of these buckets filled with water, That's th those are sajils then, sajils. But sajil was in them days, like I said, was that kind of bucket which was a more leathery kind of bucket, leather material. Right, so the water is filled at the top brim and it's pouring over. The meaning of pouring as well is there. Uh, okay, right, let's look at another meaning that the Arabs use with these letters. So again, camels, camels, we're always going to get camels, guys. Yeah, you know, uh, put in the comments, guys, if you like camels, if you have ever ridden a camel or if you've ever touched a camel or even the smell of camels, if you like it or if you dislike it, put in the comments below. So the udder of a camel. So if any of you guys have ever seen the udder of a camel. Now I try to look this up here on Google to try and find uh, you know, something about the udder of the camel. And uh, basically the udder of the camel, if it's large, extremely large, abnormally large, they actually call it a sajal. Right, sajal is like filled with milk. Right, so that was the word that was used for sajal. Uh, sajla, naqat and sajla. So you see this area, that's the udder of the camel. So let's color that in. You can see a baby just drinking the milk there. Now imagine it was much bigger than that. So I couldn't really find a large, uh, you know, udder that was over large, right? But you just imagine that udder was that large. Okay, so that's the sajal. So you have this meaning of filled, uh, you know, some things inside of it. And because it's filled, it's lowering it down. It's giving it some sort of distinct sort of features to it as well. Right, another thing is sajal is used like scrolls. So in the past when they would write on scrolls, right? So either it's the person who's actually the scribe writing themselves, right? That's called that person's called a sajil, or it's actually the scrolls itself, the, the writing. So the person like putting his like writing something into it, he's kind of got the ink and he's got the pen and he's writing into it. Right? So that's either the sajil or it's the writing itself. The writing has filled these scrolls up so this is possibly another kind of meaning so here are some images of scrolls you can see and then you can see some writing there I think this is a uh, you know some Jewish script there all right so um, that is rolled up there you can see so those scrolls there the sigil days now in the Quran this appears four times in the Quran once with the meaning of with the word sigil and three times with sigil Okay, so, just, so for example, in the Quran, Allah says, "Yawma natwis sama," and remember the day when we will roll up the sky, katayis sijil, like the rolling of the of the sijil for books. So it could mean the person who rolls them up, sijil, or it could mean the sijil, as in what is written inside the scrolls. What is written inside the scrolls? Like that's how the universe is going to be uh, rolled up, basically. It's going to be in that fashion. Okay. Um, and then another verse in the Quran, Hijaratam min sijilin mandud. So when the punishment came upon the people of Lut alayhi salam, Allah describes this punishment and He says, There were stones from sijil mandud. Mandud means sequenced, like packed up to pack together. So jil here would possibly mean here something, some sort of a pouring down, uh, you know, filling something up, sijil. Some say if it, that means the kind of clay, you know, or some have said like it's there down their names were written down on each one okay so the meaning of pouring filling up you get from sijil again and then tarmihim bihijaratim min sijil like in surah al-fil that the the the, the birds the, the, the abil well, they're not ababi birds but groups of birds that came and they had stones in their beaks and and, and uh, claws and they threw these min sijil they were from Sijil. So it could mean from Sijil, meaning in a, in a pouring fashion, or it could be, like we said, Sijil, as we mentioned earlier, could be something that was written down for them. Okay, so these are the meanings of words that Msajala. Now, what do we understand from this? So one of the meanings we get is to fill up. 
you're filling up scrolls, you're filling